Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set the PowerFlex 525's Ethernet address from the PC. And the first step is to either get a new PowerFlex 525 or reset your PowerFlex 525 to factory defaults. Next, we'll go ahead and turn it on here. So it'll start asking for an address. And we'll come over to the computer and open up the utility. Rockwell Software, Boop P, Boop P DHCP Tool. Okay, you can see we're being asked to provide an address to this device. Now you want to make sure that this is your device. It could be somebody else's computer on the network. It could be your own Bluetooth card. It could be anything. So I do know this is the back address of my 525. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And then I'm going to right click and add to relation list. And here I'm going to type in 192.168.1.52 and select OK. And we should see it appear behind us in RS links now that it has an address. Now, if that's all we did, next time we cycle power to the drive, it would lose its address. It would ask for a new address using Boot P. Well, we don't want to do that. Now, we can either turn Boot P off in this utility, which works with some Rockwell devices, not all, but it does work with the, the 525. Or we can turn it off in RS links, and I'll show you how to do it in both. Now, first, I would, if I was going to do it from this utility, I'd click here on the device in the relation list and right click and disable Boot P. And you know if it's been successful when it comes up with this message that says command is successful. So we're done at that point. We can cycle power and the drive will keep its IP address. However, if I wanted to do that from RS links, I could right click on the drive, go to module configuration, go to port configuration, and change it here. Now, from here, it looks like it's still set up for boot P, but uh, when I cycle power to the drive, it'll come back up as static. And that's how easy it is to use the boot P DHCP tool to set the IP address of your PowerFlex 525. Now, if you'd like to learn how to use the PowerFlex 525 with Control Logics, check out my course, pac-basics.com. If you'd like to help me take all the ads off of my blogs and off of my videos, then consider pledging $1 a month over at patreon.com forward slash automation. And until next time, peace.